Little by little, Corviknight is starting to sneak its way into the meta. Corviknight is being used more and more ever since Series 3 is here, and we are using Corviknight again, but not just any normal Corviknight. We got ourselves a Choice Band Corviknight team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the Genes community. But like I said, we got Corbin Knight today with the Choice Band. Gonna definitely throw off some opponents and do some big time damage. So I'm super excited to use them. We also have the Chi Yu and Flutter main combo. Then we got Murkrow for great support. Brute Bonnet, who I haven't seen in a while on the rank ladder, ever since Series 3 kind of started. Haven't really seen Brute Bonnet, but then we also have Great Tusk, who has also been seeing less and less more of action in Series 3. So, gonna be a fun one day. Hopefully, we can stay hot, grab some wins for you guys. But, we got Murkrow to get things started here for today's team preview. It's got Prankster, it's got the Evo Light. This Pokemon is still a top tier support Pokemon. It's got Tailwind, it has Sunny Day for speed control and for weather control then it's got foul play and haze to take away all the stat changes on the field we got Corbin Knight in our second slot mirror armor and like i already mentioned the choice band as its item it's got brave bird for stab iron head for stab terror blast which switches into fire and then we got u-turn to pivot out we got Fluttermane in our third spot, pairs up with Chiyu perfectly, and this one has the choice specs to make it do as much damage as it possibly can. It's got Moonblast, Dazzle Gleam, Shadow Ball, and Psy Shock. Really like this moveset for this Pokemon. We got Chiyu in our fourth spot. Like I said, it pairs up with Fluttermane perfectly, lowers the special defense of all Pokemon, and could just do some crazy damage. Plus, you can pair this one up with Murkrow. Murkrow can pop the sunny day, make Chiyu's Heat Wave and Overheat do even more damage. It's got Life Orb as item. Overheat, Heat Wave, like we already mentioned, Dark Pulse, and Protect. Fifth Pokemon is going to be Great Tusk with the Choice Scarf. And this Pokemon with Choice Scarf, I feel, is very, very good and can throw off your opponents. Because you got very strong hitting moves like Headlong Rush and EQ, so just outspeeding your opponent and being able to land those moves can really help you win the battle. We have Protosynthesis, and then its last two moves are going to be Close Combat and Rock Slide. Final Pokemon is going to be my little boy right here, Brute Bonnet. Like I said, haven't really used him in Series 3. This might be my first time using him in Series 3, but I absolutely loved it in Series 2 and thought it was a very strong Pokemon. It's got Protosynthesis, the Loaded Dice as item, Rock and Bullet Seed, Sucker Punch, Spore, and Rage Powder. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Choice Band Corviknight and Brute Bonnet team. First match coming at you guys, we're going up against a Roaring Moon team, also with Klefki, who we showcased just recently, and that Pokemon is top tier on the support train. They also have Dondozo and Tatsugiri, which makes me want to bring my Murkrow so we can haze it, and then they also have Iron Hands and, last but not least, Volcarona. But look at these names. Anybody want to, like, play VGC and fall in love? That's hilarious. I love his name. Haha, <laughs> JK, unless, please ignore me. <laughs> The creator, I love when creators uh, put some funny stuff in their Pokemon names, but that's kind of funny. That's definitely kind of funny, but who should we lead and how should we play this one? We could go into Chi Yu and Fluttermane. I mean, Fluttermane's not going to be bad here, right? I kind of want to lead the, what's it called though? I kind of want to lead the Corviknight, right? I think Corviknight could be really, really good for us and maybe bring in a Pokemon like Murkrow in the back end. Could do that. I do like the Ghost Terror. That's why I kind of want to lead this just in case Fake Out is the thing. We can kind of just Terrasalize and get straight after it. That is a possibility. They do have Klefki, though. Klefki can set up the screens. No bueno. We don't like screens. We do not like screens. You know what? I'm going to go into these two. I am going to bring Murkrow in the back end. And then last but not least, I could bring Brute Bonnet or I could bring Tusk. And I'm kind of leaning towards Brute Bonnet. I don't know why. I just really like Brute Bonnet here. Let's do it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one without our choice Pokemon. Actually, this team has three choice Pokemon. All the choice items. Choice Specs, Choice Scarf, and Choice Band. We got them all. We have them all. But we're not bringing our choice Band and our choice Scarf Pokemon. It's all good. Let's see who they end up leading. I could see maybe like a Don Dozer lead here. And it's going to be Iron Hands and Bulk Runner. This is exactly why I led this lead right here. Is because I can Terrasse slash Chiyu and just dodge the fake out, which could be really, really good for us. I think that's going to be my play, right? Because by Terrasse slash and I dodge the fake out, I can dodge a Drain Punch. I just really, really like that. So, um, I could Psy Shock him down too, or just Moon Blast. Dazzling Gleam's not bad. Um, I might just try to get rid of Volcarona more than anything, right? I think that's going to be my play, is just to try to get rid of Volcarona. I'm going to go into a Dark Pulse, so I'm going to go into Shadow Ball and just double down to the Volcarona slot. That is my play. That is my play. I'll worry about the what's called the Iron Hands when I have to, right? If he wants to tear it in the grass, we'll throw some fire moves into it. If he wants to stay there, we'll just hit it with Moonblast next turn. 
I'm cool with that. But we're kind of hoping that he goes for a fake out and misses a turn here. And he does. So good terrestrialization from us. Again, this is exactly why I want to lead this uh, lead right here. And we're going to double down the Volk run and hopefully just get rid of this thing. There's some big time damage. And of course it has a berry, but I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. I think Chiyu should be able to outspeed and just finish this thing up, right? Go ahead, Chiyu. My man. My man, Pots and Pans. Chiyu coming in here, picking up a clean KO. And turn one was huge. It's basically just a free KO on turn one. Pretty much, right? They did nothing. They missed a fake out. So from here, I can just rip into a Moon Blast here if I wanted to, right? I think I might Gleam just in case he ends up not swapping, but there's a high chance of him swapping. But I might swap it to my Murkrow. You know what? Oh, I'm choosing a Shadow Ball. That's kind of ugly. That's definitely kind of ugly. You know, we're just going to do this, and I'm going to swap into Murkrow. The reason I want to swap into Murkrow is because if he swaps into Don Dozo this turn, which I think they do, we can just legit go, oh, wait, wait a minute. Hard swapping you into, wait a minute, into Don Dozo like that? That's a little weird. I think they swapped the wrong Pokemon, right? <laughs> That's a little weird. But I was predicting a Don Dozo swap, and I just want to swap straight into uh, Murkrow for the Haze. But if this thing is going for a, what's it called? That could be scary. If he's going for a uh, Wild Charge, that just could be terrifying. We're going to get some nice damage off him. More importantly, get that special defense drop. And Thunder Punch comes through into that slot. Okay. I can deal with that. So I can take some speed here. Um, hmm. I could Shadow Ball you. Which I'm thinking of doing is just Shadow Balling you and swapping into Chiyu. Or I could swap into a Brute Bonnet. Which wouldn't be a bad swap. It's not a terrible swap, right? I mean, dark moves can hit me hard. But I'm just going to swap it to my Chiyu. I need my Murkrow. I can't have him like protect on Dozo here and just Thunder Punch me. So I'm with just going into the Chiyu here and saving my Murkrow. I need my Murkrow to haze up. We need my lovely little Murkrow to haze up. So I'm going to swap into Chiyu here. Shadow Ball is going to fly into Don Dozo. Probably should have went after uh, Iron Hands here. But wow, that damage was ridiculous. He's going to die to recoil here. Are you going to die to recoil? You might die to recoil, which would be enormous for us. Let's see. Go ahead, recoil. It did not die to recoil. But still, nice chunk of damage. Thunder Punch does come out here. That's exactly why I swapped into him. Cool. So left there is going to be popping. Um, should bring out the Brute Bonnet here, right? I do like the Brute Bonnet here. So I'm going to go into the Brute Bonnet. Does Murkrow have any hitting moves? He does have Foul Play. Okay, I like Foul Play. A Brute Bonnet's going to come out here. And I think I'm going to Sucker Punch, right? More than anything. Oh, no. Did we Sucker Punch? I think we just bolt see this thing down. They do still have Terra. I'm just going to Bolt Seed and I think I'm just going to drop an Overheat here. He might end up swapping. I'm going to go for the Overheat if we can. Right in the Iron Hands. He just protects Don Dozo. Okay. How much damage is the Overheat going to do? Oh, he's going for a Drain Punch. I am scared of this. Can this KO, please? Maybe. Possibly. Awesome. Dope. Cool. But he was definitely going for a Drain Punch there and I was just not dealing with it. I was not trying to deal with that. So, uh, did I just add Life Orb? I did not. I think I survived only like one. So, last Pokemon they have is going to be this little booger. Don Dozo and Tasugiri. Okay. I could ha hard swap into Murkrow here and just get some speed. Which would be very beneficial for us. So, I might just protect... No, I can't protect the Brute Bonnet. Hmm. Do I just attack? Do I just protect the Chiyu and attack? I think that's our best option, right? Not worry about speed. Because I was going to protect Chiyu and swap. But I think just attacking is going to be a play. I do think they potentially Terrasalize. But Bull Seed should do a nice chunk of damage. And then we can always Sucker Punch. So I'm just going to protect Chiyu here. It's on 1 HP. I want to save it for another shot. And we're going to get after it that way. So out comes Terrasalization. Let's see what typing it is. We shall see. And it's going to be straight grass. Okay. Straight grass comes out of here. A straight grass type little booger. I'm going to protect the Chiyu. And he's going to go for an order up. Mm, that hurts the soul. What do you boost an attack? Okay. 
This is this is kind of scary. I ain't gonna lie. Bolt seed. How much damage? Can you hit for five? Let's get off as much damage as you can. We have the loaded dice. We're hoping we can bring it to a point where Sucker Punch can actually KO. We got it down to red. We know it has leftovers too. Oh man, what do I do here? What do I do here? I'm gonna go for the mm, Sucker Punch. I'm gonna swap. I need Chi with speed. This one's tough. This one's tough. I'm gonna swap. I'm gonna swap my. I'm saving my Chi. I'm saving this Pokemon. I know it has life orb, so it'll probably die, but I think Dondo's a muddy and protect here. Just to get some leftovers HP. Yep. We end up swapping this thing. We can now haze. And we can Sucker Punch at the same time. So we're gonna get rid of all of its stat boost. I'm gonna haze first before I tail in. 100% my play. 100% my play. Get rid of the defense boost, all that good stuff, and then we'll tail in next turn if, if we need it. Cool. The sucker punch this thing. Haze up. And we'll go from here. Cool. So Murkrow saving him for the back end was well needed. It was definitely needed. Sucker punch comes out here. And it puts him on one? Not one HP. Wave crash gonna come out here. I'm cool with that. And we should be thriving here. He's going to die to recoil. I'm cool with that. Now it's a 3v1. Now it is a 3v1. But Passive Gear could be choice. And he could have Icy Wind, which is terrifying. But from here, now I'm going to Tailwind. I'm going to set up the speed for the team. And I'm just going to Bolt Seed out. Get some speed up in here. Let's do it. Tailwind for the rest of the squad. I doubt he can pick up the double KO, right? I highly doubt it. And hopefully Bruponite just outspeeds now. And it doesn't, but he missed the Draco Meteor. That's cool. That's totally fine. I think we would have won this one regardless, but Brubonet's going to deal some damage. Probably pick up the KO, I think. Hit him four times, should KO. He's got the loaded dice. One more for the win. Brubonet clutching it up. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. What a first match going to distance. Both me and my opponent playing really well, but you know Gene's coming out on top in match number one. Match number one went just how we wanted to, but match number two is here, and I want to showcase my boy Choice Ban Corbinite. This match isn't so hot for him, but I'm still going to use him for you guys. We're going up against a Palafin and Roar Moon team with Annihilate and Mousehold. Always a problem, right? Just always a problem. Then they have Scizor and Garchomp. How should we play this one, and how should we get after it? I could take speed. I could definitely take speed right away, because I feel like speed is going to be a big factor, but they also have first turn priority moves such as Jeff Punch and Bullet Punch. So I might not even want Murkrow. Murkrow could be good just to photosynthesis or squad, right? I do kind of like that. I do kind of like that. I'm going to go Murkrow and I'm going to go Corvo. Actually, I'll save Corvo for the back end. I'm going to go Murkrow and I think I'm going to go you first. Hmm. I do like that. And then we'll bring Fluttermane and Corviknight. I can get down with that. I can get down with that. Because if we can boost our energy or protosynthesis pop our flutter main, that could be ridiculous. Because we got choice specs on it already. It's going to do an insane amount of damage. But we'll see who our opponent ends up leading. Because it's kind of scary. Palafin sure looks like an easy lead, right? It definitely looks like an easy lead. But we'll just see how they want to play it. We shall see. So out comes Worm Moon and Scizor. And the Skizzy Skizor. Scissor is scary, always scary, because obviously, like, Scissor's got that first turn priority. It wants to attack, it could protect, it could terrestrialize. It's doing something here. It's just getting after it. Uh, but from here, their photosynthesis is already popped, and I could just go for a sunny day. I could tailwind for speed. I kind of like the tailwind for speed here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to tailwind for speed, and I might just dark pulse the Scissor slot. He might protect, which is kind of annoying. I could Terra Ghost. Would Terra Ghost be good? No, not really, right? Uh, I think I'm cool with just saying this. I might just protect. Hmm. He's got a swap. Oh, he's protecting. That's why I might just Heat Wave. Maybe look for some burns here. I'm gonna look for some burns. He might just protect Scissor. Nope, straight Terra. That's fine. I know I should just Dark Pulse into it, but it's all good. Water? Oh no, it's gonna be you. You are Terrasalize into flying. That's even better that I went for this shot here. This heat wave. Cool. So the opposite Terrasalize you. I'm going to Tailwind. And Scissor's going to protect. It's fine. It's fine. Because now he can't change typings, which I really, really like. And I think he's looking to KO my Chiyu here, right? With the flying move. 
Possibly. Probably. Acrobatics. We're just looking for a burn here. Burn or some big time damage, because Chiyu can hit hard. He's got the orb, too. It's half damage. Give me the burn. Give me the burn, yo. Give me the burn. Give it to me. Nope. Acrobatics come out. That's probably picking up the KO in me. Yeah. Okay. I feel you. I feel you. Scissor is now a problem. A massive problem. That I don't know how to deal with. Terra Blast Fire. Only way to deal with it. Right? <laughs> Luckily, we have this. But we're going to be choice into that. Which, I mean, it's not too bad. It's not terrible. But Corviknight's going to have to be the one. Corviknight is going to have to be your pal here. But, mm, I could hate... I mean, haste wouldn't do anything. I think I'm just going to foul play, chunk up some damage there. I'll let Terra Blast straight fire into the scissor. I'm looking just to get rid of this thing. Take it out, say bye-bye, and kind of go from there. So I feel like if I get rid of Scissor and War Moon here, my my two Corviknight and Fluttermane can really get some work done. But my only problem with Corviknight would now be it's going to be choice into a fire move, which I don't really like. I don't really like, but I have to use it here. I have to use it here. Maybe I'll swap Corviknight later if we can. But I have to get rid of Scissor. It just protect it. It does work onto my Fluttermane. I have Terror type Fairy on my Fluttermane. So again, like there's no way around it. So I have to get rid of this thing. Bull Punch gonna fly here. And you went after Corviknight with a Bull Punch. That's a little odd. That is a little odd. And he's gonna end up Tailwind, which is a very good play. Very, very good play. Foul play's gonna fly here. How much damage are we doing? Murkrow with the KO. I love Murkrow. He hits hard with the foul plays on the physical attackers. He hits hard. So we're gonna pick up the easy double kill unless this thing is Sash. But I highly doubt he's Sash, right? A lot of them are more so like clear amulet. But they put up a Tailwind to match our Tailwind, which is wild. Which is really, really good on their side, but it's not a bad turn right there. Getting out the Corvo. Choice Band Corvo going into Terra. We like that. So we'll see who they want to go into. Hopefully it's, uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, no, not Annihilate Mouse. I don't like that. Me no likey. Me no likey. And I would really like to have my bird move back. My flying move back. Um, huh. What do I want to do here? I think I want to just foul play you down. And I kind of want to swap Corvo. I do want to swap Corvo. I want to switch my move. I'm going to foul play up onto this, uh, this what's it called. I think he might be going for a, a Rage Fist, which could be tough. No, he ends up protecting, so that's actually a decent swap for us. Now, so what are you going for? You pop bombing into Fluttermain? Okay, cool. I'll take that turn. Is my Tailwind gone? My Tailwind might be gone, and I kind of want it to end soon, just so I can reset it with Murkrow. And kind of go from there. So from here, I could Protosynthesis Pop, which I really, really like. And I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to choice into a Dazzling Gleam. Because he can't Terrasalize anymore. So doing that is going to be the play. Let me just make sure Tailwind is still in effect for us before I make the play. Yeah, we got one more turn. So yeah, I'm going to pop the Sunny Day. I'm going to proc the... uh. The Protosynthesis all day long. Get that popping for, for Flutter. Get it popping. Hopefully it's special attack. Boost that even more, right? It is. Oh my god, let's go. This way this this should be able to KO, I'm thinking. Yeah, night night. Night night. Let's go. Yo, Murkrow, I'm telling you, yo, Murkrow is still where it's at in series three. Big time damage. Big time damage. Getting that special attack boost. Having the choice specs on top of that. Stab, super effective. Wiping out Annihilate, but almost taking out uh Mousehold. But Murkrow, can you survive here? Oh, you died. How many times I hit? Was that 10? Got me a few crits there, too. How many times I hit? Yeah, well, that was only eight. So I had probably two more two more hits there. But this match is wraps. This match is wraps. I got my Corvo right back here. You can't even hit my Fluttermane, probably. Your only hitting move is probably a pop bomb. And that's going to be game, set, match. So I'm just going to choice to a Brave Burn. I'm just going to stick with my Gleam. Our opponent probably cancels. There you go for pop bomb. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Yo, kill on me. <laughs> That's going to KO my Corvo. Survive, Corvo. Nah, Corvo's gone. Gone. <laughs> but it's all good. We made a swap at a good time. I was more so swapping Corvo, right? Just for the Annihilate. But yo, he hits hard, yo. Mouse doesn't play no games. But our Flutter main's still alive. Dazzling Link comes out here. 2 0. Just guaranteed ourselves a winning record. Let's go grab ourselves a perfect record in match number three. Final match coming at you guys, and I'm looking to stay hot. Stay hot, jeans. Let's get it. We're 2-0. Oh. 
looking to go 3-0, going up against a Ting Lu team. Ting Lu, obviously a problem. Gonna have to bring out our physical attackers here, but Arcanine's also a problem. I don't like playing up against Arcanines. They're just so strong and so deadly. How should we play this one? We could go Murkrow turn one. I don't mind Murkrow. I could actually go Murkrow and Tusk, potentially Tailwind, start EQ, and I really do like that all around. So those are going to be the two Pokemon that I want to go into. Or we can also Haze if uh, Intimidate comes out here and then just start ripping with ground moves. So we have a lot of different options here. So I'm going to go in with them too. I am going to bring... Do I bring Chiyu or do I bring like a Corviknight and Brute Bonnet? Just say screw Chiyu and Fluttermane. I'm kind of with that, right? Because these Pokemon actually are going to be really good up against a few of these guys. So I'm going to say screw the Chiyu Fluttermane combo, even though it's very, very strong. I'm tired of using it. I'm tired of using it. I'd rather use a uh, Brute Bonnet. Great Tusk Corviknight. We already guaranteed ourselves a winner record. Let's have some fun in this last match. But who do I think they're going to lead? Arcanine, possibly, or Palafin, like one or the other, or possibly both, right? Definitely two very strong Pokemon. I could see a Annihilate bleed, maybe a Final Gambit Annihilate. I'm not too sure. Because usually you pair up uh, Annihilate with uh, with Mousehold. And then if it's not with Mousehold, it's usually just like a Gambit Choice Scarf kind of Pokemon. So we'll see what he wants to do. We shall see. But yeah, I do think I do think Arcanine potentially is going to be lead. And then again, I could just haze it off and get off as much damage as I can with EQ or even a headlong rush because I am choice scarf with that Pokemon. Let's see, Palafin and Nihilate. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. So Tailwind's probably going to be our play. I'm going to try to take speed here, and I'm just going to. I might just rip this Annihilate. I might just rip this Annihilate. I mean, we don't even need that unless it's choice scarf. What's your speed? Because I'm thinking of just Sunny Day and proccing that attack boost. 139. That's got to be faster than Annihilate, right? Do I take the risk and say that's faster than Annihilate? I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to do this. And I'm just going to EQ. I'm just going to EQ here. He ends up hard swapping the Palafin. I'm just hoping it's not a Gambit Annihilate taking out my Tusk here. So I'm looking to just get, out, get off as much damage as I possibly can. Sunny Day comes out here. Do not be Gambit. Or you can be Gambit, just don't outspeed me, right? I'm boosting my attack here. I want to get off as much damage as I can. I love you, Great Tusk. That's exactly what I wanted. Now you can Gambit. Now you can definitely Gambit if you want. Look at that damage. And he's going for a bulk. I'm, I'm fine with that. I can haze that. I can haze you and finish you here, which I'm is exactly what I'm going to do. There's leftover, so I can't finish him. Actually, I might be able to. I'm definitely going to haze all that off. Let's, you're not getting all that. So we're just going to do this. And I could... I could go into a close combat here. But I'm just going to stick with my EQs. Because I'm looking to try to just get off as much damage as I can onto Annihilate. Plus, it's not doing bad damage to that Ting Lu right now. It is not. It is not. I know we still haven't set up Tailwind, but I kind of like where we're at. So we end up protecting Annihilate. That's fine. And we'll go from here. They're gonna say, hey yo, your stat changes, that bulk up that you wasted turn with, it's gone. I'm not dealing with it. I'm just not dealing with the bulk ups. It's just not happening. So we go for an EQ. I can see a Fisher coming out here, and I'm kind of scared of it. I'm definitely kind of scared of it, scared of it. But let's chunk up some more damage on the Ting Lu, which is very solid. And he ends up going for the rock side. And Murko dodges it. That's why he's my boy. That's why he's my boy. That is why he is my boy. The dog. The best. And I'm, I don't know. I'm still choice. I forgot I'm choosing to EQ. I am choosing to EQ. I totally forgot. But I'm just going to stick with my EQs here. Keep throwing them out here. I'm now going to set up a Tailwind too. Because I think there's a chance he takes out Murkrow with a nice little Rock Slide. Or he could double down into it. So I don't want to deal with that. I'd rather just get the speed for the rest of my team. Keep chipping up some damage with the Great Tusk. And kind of just going from there. But I do think Brute Bonnet and Corvo. Choice Band Corvo. With a Tailwind. Should be able to come out here and clean up a lot. Because I know they do have Palafin. Pally Palafin. Pally Palafin. The Tailwind's out and about. Let's get cooking. And EQ's going to keep flying. So we're not going to be able to KO Annihilate here, but still. Chunk up some nice damage. Oh, we do KO. We KO both. I'll take it. I'll take it. Good old sunny day. We get the high rolls on attack. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. <laughs> I'm all about it. That's pretty much going to be GG's, right? We're sitting in the hot spot right here. 
three EQs. She's gonna bring out Palf in here. I could hard swap, but I don't think we have to hard swap. I think that my Great Tusk should be able to eat up a uh, a Jet Punch, right? In the sun. It's gonna neglect the damage. And I'm all about it. I'm cool with that. So I'm just gonna pop an EQ here. And I guess I'll just foul play on top of that. Right? Yeah. I don't, I don't think we have to try size. Do I foul play Flutter Main or I have Sucker Punch for Flutter Main? I'm just gonna get, try to get, make sure that this Palafin's gone. So let's get after it. Let's just keep popping EQs. If Jet Punch comes through, again, we should be able to soak it up, no problem. And we'll go from there. So Terrasalization probably from the Flutter Flutter main into Fairy. No, Palafin's gonna go straight water. Yeah, he's looking to get off as much damage as he can. And even with that, I still feel as my Great Tusk should be able to see. It's very defensively bulked. And we got some sun damage here. And he doesn't go for the Jet Punch. No Jet Punch comes out of here. He just lets me pop an EQ. See you later, Flutter Man. Get on out of here. Get on out of here. Probably going for the Wave Crash now. That place is going to slide over here. And Murkrow just <laughs> ripping into Palpin. And that's a sweep for match number three. Clean sweep for match number three. And we grab ourselves a 3-0 perfect record. This team right here was absolute fire. Grab yourself a 3-0 perfect record and got the showcase choice bank overnight. In at least one of the battles, it ripped into the scissor, helped us grab ourselves a win there, and then the rest of the Pokemon did work on their own. Murkrow and Great Tusk were killing it in match number three. Murkrow on its own was phenomenal. Pairing up with the Flutter Main, the Chi Yu, the Great Tusk, it's just all around great. And then we got a little bit of Brute Bonnet action in there as well. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.